My trip to Norway started with this simple question. Does this country really have the world's wildest places to stay? After nine flights, driving over 2,000 kilometers, taking 31 ferries and visiting 27 hotels, I've handpicked the 10 most unique places to stay in Norway, and that's where I'm taking you today. I started my month-long trip to Norway in late summer, with a three-hour drive north from Bergen to what's known as a bird box. At under 100 square feet, this is the smallest place I've ever stayed. Wow. I got a bit of rain at first, but once the weather cleared, oh my God, it was pretty special. But if a tiny hotel is a no-go for you, then how about some luxury? Next, I flew to Buda in the Arctic Circle and took the prettiest three-hour drive of my life. Is this the boat we're taking? Yeah. To the island of Manshausen and to my most luxe stay in Norway. Choose between the classy sea cabins or the Star Wars-like tower rooms, both wonderful in their own ways. There are tons of outdoor activities to choose from here. After your workout, hit the sauna, take a cold plunge, and head to the resort's gourmet restaurant for what might be your best meal in Norway. You know, I still can't decide which was my favorite hotel in Norway, Manshausen or the Pan Treetop, which was my second to last stop. Both are wonderful, but in really different ways. Anyway, if you think Manshausen is remote, hold on. The Arctic Hideaway is one of the world's most remote hotels, but getting here was half the fun. It's late summer, I'm in the Arctic Circle, and <laughs> yes, it's cold. This place is kind of a cross between an Airbnb and a hotel. It is super quirky and pretty surprising. There are separate buildings for eating, bathing, hanging out, sleeping, and in true Norwegian style, a wood-fired sauna that you're gonna need after you feel the water. I headed back down to Bergen and took another beautiful drive to Oda, Norway, to the Wood Nest Tree Houses, a place where you really have to want it, because it's a steep 30 to 40 minute hike up to get to these luxury tree houses. But I think it's worth it. It is wild. I kind of had problems finding the bed. Where's the bed? <laughs> Where is the bed? The full video will show you if there's a bed here or if you have to sleep on the floor. But if this all seems like too much, I've got another Lux option for you. I know how hard it is to find good travel advice, and I started Swank because I think video is the best way for you to see if a place is right for you. So I did tons of research, visited 27 hotels in Norway, and stayed at 15 to find the best. I'll spare you the disappointments. There are always a few. But I think test driving a place is the only way to make an honest recommendation. Okay, on with the show. There's something about the Uvit Landscape Hotel that's caught Hollywood's attention. Ex Machina and an episode of Succession were filmed here. Uh, look out your window. Is that you? Yeah, of course that's me, the handsome one. But if you watch those, you'd think this was the ultimate minimalist Scandi escape. The design is modern for sure, with a sleek 70s retro twist that I loved. But there's another side to this place, with this traditional barn that's the home of incredible gourmet dinners. Another hotel for you foodies to add to your list. The hotel's surrounded by beautiful landscapes and is only 90 minutes from Olesund, a city that could easily be the setting for a Nordic fairy tale. I didn't originally plan to come to Olesund, but as I traveled around Norway, people kept telling me that this is Norway's most beautiful city. So I took a diversion and found not one, but two great design hotels. The first with the most amazing fireplace I think I've ever seen. Head a few blocks over and you're at Hotel 1904, what I think is the best urban design hotel in Norway, with beautiful rooms, a great art collection, 
and a restoration that strikes that really rare balance of respecting a building's history and a thoughtful modern update. End your day atop Mount Axla and take in what I'd agree is Norway's most beautiful city. Driving down Norway's west coast is something you might want to put on your bucket list. It's pretty special. And this time we're headed to the Boulder, Norway's hottest boutique hotel. The design here is so well done. High quality materials in this beautiful setting. But I think you come here for these incredible views. If you get bored with your fabulous views at the Boulder, then head to Pulpit Rock. A short drive away and a bit of a hike to get to, but it is worth it. Now we're headed to Eastern Norway, about three hours outside of Oslo, to these incredible tree houses. And yeah, this scenery isn't as dramatic as Western Norway, but this place is special in its own way. Nestled in the woods, a great place to escape to and just unwind. I love this beautiful steel structure, the soaring ceilings, the sleeping loft, the cozy indoor fireplace, and the fire pit outside, where I stayed warm while reconnecting with nature. We're back in the city, in Norway's capital, Oslo, at a place that's two hotels in one. I had more fun at the Sumero than at any other city hotel in a long time. The hotel's in this restored Art Deco office building and is packed with great bars and restaurants. Attached to the Sumero is Villa Incognito, an 1870s mansion with just 11 elegant rooms and tons of public spaces to spread out in. I didn't come to Norway by accident. I came because my research was telling me that Norway has the world's highest concentration of wild places to stay. I was looking for something different. A place where unique stays and wonderful architecture aren't just add-ons, but the main event. Norway didn't just meet my expectations, it blew them out of the water. Don't forget to subscribe because you do not want to miss where I'm headed next. Zihuataneo and the Pacific Northwest. But if you want a bit more Norway, my Oslo guide will show you why Norway's capital has become one of Europe's hippest cities. Check out my Oslo guide here. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.